uh, trilateral meeting started about, about an hour ago, and uh, in, even in the opening remarks, you saw the uh, conflicting interests uh, of these three uh, countries. Of course, when it comes to these three countries in Syria, on one side of the conflict, you have Russia uh, and Iran. On the other side, you have uh, Turkey. When it comes to Iran and Russia, they believe that the uh, remaining armed opposition groups hold up in Idlib uh, are terrorists. Uh, they believe that Idlib, the province of Idlib, belongs to uh, Syria, and they're seemingly poised to back uh, Syrian armed forces in an uh, offensive to retake Idlib. On the other side, uh, you have uh, Turkey. They have a lot of uh, interests uh, in Idlib. Uh, Mr. Erdogan today in his opening uh, remarks said it's a, a matter of national uh, security, the outcome of Idlib. Obviously, uh, for the past several years, they funded and supported what they call moderate opposition groups there. They don't want an all-out offensive in Idlib. An offensive like that could certainly undermine their interests, undermine their resources, and certainly cause uh, another wave of refugees heading into Turkey, Turkey already uh, home to uh, three and a half million uh, refugees. So conflicting interests there, and ostensibly uh, this is a summit where these three countries, these three presidents are, are getting together to explore ways where they can effectively address Idlib uh, without a bloodshed, uh, without causing a major backlash from the international community, from the UN, who are uh, uh, watching. Uh, so we'll see what happens. A lot of positive statements, but also uh, clear in these opening reports, remarks that the conflicting interests uh, remain. Edwin used the word uh, ceasefire. Is that something that Tehran could agree to? It depends if Turkey uh, agrees to concessions. It de depends if Turkey agrees to at least give up some parts of Idlib. Uh, in his remarks, Mr. Erdogan said that they share concerns of Iran and Russia, that there are some hardcore uh, terrorists there uh, linked to al-Qaeda, al suggesting that they'd be willing uh, to join in on efforts uh, to target those uh, opposition groups. But clearly what they don't want, what Turkey doesn't want, is an all-out offensive. They say a diplomatic solution is the key, a ceasefire uh, is the key. Again, on the other side, I Iran and Russia, they want to finish off this uh, war. This could be the decisive uh, fight in Idlib. This is where uh, about 50,000 uh, opposition, armed opposition uh, group members have been holed up. And, and Russia, uh, Iran, uh, in Syria, the Assad government believe that if they give, uh, if they get Idlib, if they move and get that uh, territory, it, it will be the uh, end of the war. So clearly, uh, a lot of differences remain between these three countries, Russia and Iran on one side, Turkey on the other. Reza Sayah, thank you very much for that. Reza reporting there.